What's going on guys, I'm Mikado and welcome back to another Unreal Engine for Fortnite tutorial. Today's tutorial I'll be showing you all how to make a landscape. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing you want to do is go up to selection mode at the top left, click on it, then it'll drop down some options. You want to click on landscape. Once you're there, this like green square will appear here. This is basically your landscape actually. So you see some settings on left here. Location, rotation, these things you won't really need to change unless you already have an area you want to be placed, but I assume you're starting fresh and you don't want to choose where this goes so i wouldn't suggest changing any of those but first thing we're going to do is go right down to number of components we're going to put this up here number of components each component basically means each grid here and the more grids you have the more bigger your map will be so if you are doing a battle royale i would suggest you know doing a bigger map if you're doing like a smaller mini battle royale this is totally up to you what you're going to do so for me, I'm just going to go with a normal 8x8. Eight eight. But here's the thing though. If you actually go to scale, you can actually, you know, you can scale this up pretty big and you can, you can make it go pretty big. But the more bigger you make the scale, the more lower quality your terrain will be. So as you can see here, the more you change your scale, the more these grids will actually go bigger, which is kind of stretching out the detail. So when you're painting and stuff, the paint will be very zoomed in and low quality so you don't want to crank this these numbers up here so even i found a good number here is like 200 if you're going eight by eight i think even but be sure to experiment though just experiment with it you know i haven't found my range yet of what the numbers should be yet just make sure you don't have to scale way too much section size here too just leave it at 63 times 63 quads and then just click create and there we go our train has created i'm gonna go over all the settings here real quick so for sculpt what you want to do is we're just gonna change the brush size here you can actually change your brush size to make it big or you know it's whatever i'm just gonna make it like right here see with the strength you can change that too i'll just leave it right there let's make like a mountain so that's basically what the sculpt is for this is to like make the train go up here as you can see it's going up here but we're actually gonna make it slightly bigger and up to this here so we can actually there we go that's the process we want to see yeah that's what this sculpt is for to make them go up and then you can go to the smooth tool and actually smoothen it down here so so it's a lot less you know jaggedy and more smooth next up here we got erase this is just to like you know erase it i'm not gonna erase it but <laughs> that's just to erase it so obviously you want to like make the strength go down a bit more that's just to erase whatever train you're trying to do we also got flat in here this is actually a pretty cool tool so if you're doing like buildings or something you want to have it level simply go boom flatten let's turn up the strength here there we go so it basically creates this you know flat ter terrain here you can also like go down here a bit more so if you can make it go right there they can like smoothen it out that's not smooth you can actually like smoothen it out so you can kind of walk up it pretty cool pretty cool stuff here then we got ramp so what you want to do to use the ramp is hold control and then click anywhere where you want it to be and then hold control again and click where you want the end point to be just like that and then you can adjust the ramp width here and then the side fall off and then click enter and look at that we just made this awesome looking ramp right here really easy to do moving it out on the sides there pretty cool then we got erosion this is to push it down but you can see what it's doing here <laughs> yeah i don't know i actually use this for when making roads which will probably be one of my next tutorials but i actually use this tool a lot for that that's erosion hydro here again this is kind of like another it just adds a bunch of like bumps into uh the terrain here so if you have like a giant map it's too flat maybe you can just like add bumps and stuff and add bumpiness to it you'll see that uh uh, and then maybe smoothing it up it looks a little too weird but that's that noise you please don't use it <laughs> i'm just kidding but uh does this i guess yeah that's that's cool uh visibility oh it creates like a hole i actually haven't used this one yet i've used every other one but not this uh so i guess it like makes it vis like see through that's cool mirror uh i haven't actually used this yet but i can only imagine it mirrors it when you push enter ah okay that's cool so for mirror guys i'm learning too don't worry it's, we're all learning here you can mirror it so that's not really what i want so you can change the mirror width and all that then click enter and it will mirror what you have here okay that's pretty cool guys this is a mirror tool i don't know when or why you'd use this but hey that's pretty cool select here we can select this all and completely destroy your map i'll be honest guys selection oh my god get me out i'm gonna be honest guys selection tool isn't something you're gonna ever really use unless you want this on your map that's that pretty cool uh i just broke my map now all right so moving on we're done with the sculpting tools let's go to paint this is where the fun begins if you want to make your own you know path so let's actually make a train here first all right so when we go over to paint here it's got a little train going here i have it on this like dirt kind of path here you'll see at the bottom here there's different layers these are actually all your options you got here but what you can do is paint 
on some dirt. I actually have it pretty strong. Let's turn on the strength here. I don't like it that strong. Look at that. So you can make like a little patch with this, which is really cool. You can split off over here, blah, blah, blah. Let's make it go off over here. And then we can like, you know, make it go down there. Let's have it split off over here. That's the uh, paint tool, pretty cool stuff. And what we can actually do from there is smoothen it. So we can actually smoothen it to make it less, to kind of blend it in with the terrain here. So there's some spots that look a little weird like that maybe. We can also flatten it, which does kind of what the other thing does, except with paint. Uh, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't use this for me. I just don't see a point in using this, but it is pretty cool. And then we got noise over here, which if we have like a lot here, let's like do a lot here. So if we had noise, so if we had noise, it will just destroy it. Is that what that does? Okay, I guess noise just destroys it. I actually, I mean, I thought it would like make it. That's that. And that's basically that for that one. Let's, you can also add more here too. Um, this got like this like darker dirt here, which is pretty nice. We also got sand here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I wish we had snow. We also got some concrete here. If you're noticing this, your map isn't breaking. It's just loading into textures for that part of the map. Don't worry if that happens. That's that. Pretty cool, pretty dope. I like it. But hope you all enjoyed. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm actually going to leave a playlist in the description down below of all my Unreal Engine tutorials. Be sure to check them out. Let me know what other tutorials you want me to do too for UBFN. If you guys have any questions too, be sure to let me know and be sure to join the discord in the description down below i've actually turned it into more of a fortnite creative theme kind of server to help people and to have other people show off their maps so if you have any maps built in this be sure to show them off so if you have any maps in general and creative you can show them off there get feedback and all that pretty cool go join it but that's it for me today hope you enjoyed subscribe like comment and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye